Welcome to the Reflexor Getting Started video. In this video, I'm going to try to get you up and going as fast as I can. But it is important for you to realize that there's a lot of components underneath the hood of Reflexor. Specifically, we have some type of backend storage, either OpenSearch or Elasticsearch. With that, because of those backends, you can do custom reporting with OpenSearch dashboards or Kibana. Then on top of that, we have the actual Reflexor components, the API, which handles a lot of the processing and event rules and automation, the UI, which is the web interface that you'll be using, as well as the agent, which is how we're getting events or alerts into Reflexor. And because we're trying to make this scale very well, we also include memcache for kind of this high speed memory buffer. And so there's all these different components that need to be installed and working. So in order to give you a quick jump start to get this up and going, we've kind of built the special install bash script. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install this on Ubuntu 22.04 for this video. Note the install script is supported on multiple operating systems. You can find this on docs.reflexor.com. For those of you watching over YouTube, I will also put links there because there's a command I'm going to be running, and I want you to pull that out of the documentation in case the command gets updated in the future. So you can see here we've got Alma Linux, Amazon Linux, CentOS 7, 8, Ubuntu 2004, and Ubuntu 2204, which I'm using Ubuntu 2204 for this video just because that's what I've got. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run this quick start command. Now, if you want to see what I'm doing because you don't trust me, eh, that's okay. I mean, I'm not feeling the love right now, but come on. <laughs> you can copy this, open another tab, paste that in, and you can see the actual script. So there's, there's no strings. There's no hidden code. It's all right there. You can see exactly what we're doing. Um, but if you want to get up and going like right now, just run it. <laughs> But if you don't trust me, yeah, you can figure out what's there. So I'm going to copy that, and I am currently SSH'd onto the box I'm going to use this on. So I'm going to paste this. It'll kind of wrap to the next line. Just hit Enter, and then you'll have to put your password if you're not already root. It's going to first ask you, where do you want this to be installed? It's going to default to the directory you're in slash Reflexor. So for me, it's home J Henderson Reflexor. If you want the install files to be placed somewhere else, just change the path. I'm going to hit enter and just accept the defaults. And then you'll notice in an act of transparency, when I wrote this install script, I basically have it output all the things it's getting ready to do. Like uh, we're going to install the Docker software repo into Ubuntu. We're going to install a JSON utility called JQ, Docker Community Edition. We're going to increase the VM max map count in the Etsy syscontrol file. And then for performance reasons of open search, as well as a little bit for Docker, I'm adding some content into Etsy security limits.conf. If you're using Elasticsearch instead, well, you probably already know this, but you would have to change open search to Elasticsearch. My script though is using open search. Okay. On top of that, there's some config files initially that it's going to pull down. And then when I hit yes, I'm basically saying I'm ready to continue it's going to start going crazy. <laughs> it's going to download those files. It's going to make those file changes. It's going to install Docker, which is what it's doing right now. Once Docker is installed, it then has to pull down the container images and then run them. But it doesn't just run them. It actually then connects to some of those services. Because what I didn't want to do was just get in the habit of quick installing and leaving you with an insecure config. So what it's going to do as it deploys these services is it's actually going to connect to them and generate random passwords. So Reflex, the administrative interface, is going to have a different password. The OpenSearch backend is going to have a different password, plus services like the OpenSearch dashboards account and a few others. So at the end of this installation script, it's actually going to output all the passwords it's generated make sure you copy them somewhere and do something with it, save them. On top of that, you need to get a copy of the install directory. Specifically, there's a file called application.conf. 
inside that file are some really long, we'll call them secret keys. They're super long because what it's doing is using those as encryption keys on your overall reflex tenant. Reflexor is actually multi-tenant by default. It's just the account you're gonna log in with at the end of this is the global tenant. And for most of you, you probably only ever operate in the global tenant. But if you're like me, where my company, HNA Security Solutions, we have an MSSP, and we have many clients all under one reflex instance, well, every client is a subtenant. And so I need to make sure that I have access of a backup of this file because you can't restore your data and access it without those special keys. So at the end of the install, make sure you have everything. Now what it's doing is waiting for open search to start, and then it's gonna go ahead and change the passwords instead of having the default admin admin. Give that here just a second. There it goes. It's changed the password to a randomly generated password. Now it's going to start up the Reflex API instance, and it's going to change the default admin password on that one as well. Plus set up a few things like a default agent group. That way you can start assigning inputs to it, and it'll just start picking them up within a few seconds. There we go. And then lastly, now it's basically finishing off the components. It's, it's getting everything up and running, fine tuning a few more things, and then it's going to print out all the passwords for us. So we'll hold for a second, just give this, give this a moment. So at this point, it's near complete. It's got open search running. It's got open search dashboards connecting back to the open search. It's got memcache up and running. And at this point, it's basically trying to get the API and UI up and running for its final time. Once the UI is up, it'll kick off that reflex agent for us. So that'll be running in the background. And then at that point, the installation is done, short of you going in and creating any case templates that you might, and then setting up some inputs. Here's where it's getting the final agent set up. So it'll deploy the reflex agent. There it goes, pulling down the agent. So here shortly, we'll see all the passwords and be able to test connect to make sure everything is working. There we go. It's going to do another health check just to make sure everything is working before it fires off the final agent config. There it goes. It's doing a health check of the UI, and as soon as that passes, the agent will kick off. There we go. Installation's complete. We can now access this. I'm gonna real quickly get the IP address of this box. This one is here. Copy that. And we'll go to the reflex interface first. Okay, so this is going to be admin at reflexor.com. Remember, make sure you write these passwords down. They are not saved to a file or anything. They're just on the screen. Log in. That worked, by the way, if you want, while you're here, you could go under profile and enable multi-factor. That's supported out of the box. And then outside of that, you might go to case templates, create more case templates other than the sample example of phishing analysis. And then don't forget to set up some inputs and then later assign them to your agent group. You just add your inputs here. And there's uh, vi other videos on YouTube that kind of walk you through how to do that. But at this point, Reflexor is fully up and running. There also is the open search dashboards. The only reason you really need to go here is if you're trying to re create custom reports. Uh, other than that, you wouldn't need it, but just to validate that that's working too before you go on. And it's working. So at this point, we have a fully installed Reflexor installation. That means the back end is OpenSearch with OpenSearch dashboards for custom reports. We have Memcache. We have Reflexor API. 
the Reflexor UI, the Reflexor Agent. All these components are up and running, and you should be good to go. Check out the YouTube video of the series we have on Reflexor to stay up to date on features that are currently available and monitor that for future features because we're planning on constantly updating this. I hope you enjoy Reflexor, and hopefully this is a, an area where we can continue to give back to the community. Thank you very much.